Hello guys, welcome to Deep Codes and in today's video we will discuss lead code question 1768 that says merge strings alternately. So guys here you are given two strings word 1 and word 2. You need to merge these strings by adding characters or letters in alternate order. So let's say you pick the first uh, character or letter from the word 1 then pick the first character from word 2 then second character from word 1 and second from word 2. So by that way you have to pick the characters alternately from both the strings and you have to uh, form the final result. Further, if uh, characters are remaining in one of the words, then directly append them at the end. Okay, append the uh, all the additional characters that are remaining at the end of the merge string, and we need to return this merge string. So, guys, if you take a look at the first example, so here the, we have ABC in word one and PQR in word two. So, for the output, what we do we did is we took the first character from word one, then the first character from word two then second character from word 1 and second character from word 2 so similarly uh, third character from word 1 and third character from word 2 and we form this complete output string or merge string got it uh, now here what we did is uh, we took the first character a from word 1 then then the p from word 2 and after that we took b then q now after this there is no third character in word 1 but there are two characters remaining in word 2 so for that directly append them inside the merge string okay so yeah this is the answer that we found similarly here a p b q now two characters are remaining in the word 1 directly append them cd so guys that way uh, we have to form this merge string and solve this question okay now in order to solve this one way is what you can do is you can uh, keep two pointers one pointer one pointer to point word one and another pointer to point word two right uh, and yeah we will run a while loop until uh, bo until uh, i is less than n1 and j is less than n2 okay so here what we are doing is we are simply adding the characters or letters to the answer alternately that is the i character from word one and j character from word two right and incrementing the i and j so the, this is this way we are simply taking first character from word one first character from one two then incrementing i j then second character from word one second character from word two so you yeah, have this thing we are doing here in this file while loop now let's say suppose there are some characters remaining in a word one string then what we will do this while loop will run because i is not less than n one see here there is an n means this both both should be inside the bound of a length of a string okay now if there are some characters remaining in word one then this while loop will run because this condition will satisfy so for that what we are doing we are simply adding all the characters remaining in word 1 and appending to our answer okay but if this is not the case that means i is greater than or equal to n1 right for that what we will do this condition will satisfy means if j is less than n1 n2 see if this is the case then this while loop won't run then we will check for this if is j is less than n2 if this is the case that means some characters are remaining in word 2 and that we have to work on it uh, so yeah, we added those characters or letters uh, and simply appended to the end of the answer. Okay, got this. And yeah, at the end we return our answer. So guys, this is one approach to solve this question by using two pointers. Okay, now what if I say you can solve this with one pointer only? So let me show you that. So for this, uh, instead of while loop, what I will do is I will simply take uh, one for loop uh, and only one pointer that is i. Let me remove this from here and i is less than n1 or i is less than n2 means it, it must be less than one of them n1 or n2 and i will do i plus plus and here i will check that if i is less than uh, n1 so if this is the condition then what i will do i will simply uh, add one word one character i character to our answer and again check for if i is less than n2 then check uh, then if this condition is satisfied then I will do word 2 of i and add to our answer Okay, this is it. This is the simple code, right? Instead of using two pointers I will run this uh, this for loop will run until uh, Both the all the characters from both the word that is word 1 and word 2 are used Okay, now then I will check whether if i is less than n1 that means uh, If there are some characters remaining in word 1 to add the add that character if some characters are remaining in word 2 to add, then add that character right based on this condition so at the end i simply return answer now let me let us try to submit this code so yeah guys as you can see this code got submitted 
now talking about the time and space complexity for this approach so guys now talking about the time complexity the time complexity here is nothing but we go of maximum of n1 comma n2 right because uh, why maximum of n1 and n2 because that many times this for loop will run okay see we are adding the character from the word 1 and word 2 simultaneously so if there are and if there are some character characters additionally remaining in word 2 then for that time we will run this loop so it will be the maximum of n1 and n2 and the space complexity here is big o of 1 as we are not storing any thing so yeah guys that's all for this video if you guys have any doubt then do let me know in the comment section make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel thank you